Hello guys, welcome to another video. I'm very very sorry about the lack of videos in my channel, but I was going under some uh, renovations in my bedroom, uh, so I was kind of busy with that because I had to paint my whole room and whatever, but you uh, truly don't care about that, do you? But anyways, let's get to the point of today's video. First of all, I want to thank my friend Croc for sponsoring today's video. He's a massive, massive shitlord and he gave me the money to buy the item that I'm going to be reviewing in this video. So again, thanks Croc for making uh, this video possible because there's no way I would have spent my own money in this bullshit. And as you could guess, today I bring you another pickup review. And I guess it's a type of pickup that I have already reviewed, but not really. I have reviewed a couple of invader type pickups, and I have reviewed a couple of single coil type pickups, but never a pickup that was those two things. Because today we are taking a look at the AliExpress Invader single coils. Now, I kind of like these pickups because they go very well in this guitar. They are the same exact color of the body of my Devotion Strat. Uh, so they kind of look nice, they don't look horrible. Besides being invaders, you know. They really do look like big uh, Lego pickups. But the invader pickup has some upsides. Like because of the pull pieces that are very big, you don't get much loss of volume when you are bending or something like that because they are pretty much covering the whole entire pickup except some very small uh, parts of the coil. So, you know, trade-offs. If you don't like your guitar looking like a Lego uh, made guitar, then I guess don't buy this, but for the rest, there's really no downsides really to the sound. I guess this pickup being very high fidelity to the actual uh, invaders, they are ceramic pickups. And as far as the readings go, they go from around 5.0 to 5.3k ohms of resistance. So they are actually kind of low output, because a normal single coil goes from 6 to 7.5k ohms of resistance. And these pickups have the normal spacing of 52mm, 50mm and 48mm respectively on each pickup. And I didn't need to make any modifications to the pickguard in order for the pickups to fit, so they are a drop-in replacement. And you also can find this in bright green, in black or in pink. Right now in AliExpress I just could find the red ones, but uh, they pop out from time to time the other colored ones. In case you don't like this specific shade uh, of red. And as far as the price goes, uh, you can get this set of pickups for around 15 to 20 bucks depending on the seller and the color and the shipping and all that, but that's around the price that you uh, can expect for this type of pickups. So as far as the sound goes, they don't sound like a normal single coil, especially because these are ceramic. The single coil tone that everyone associates with this kind of pickups 
Uh, it's because the pickups have either an Alinko 5 or an Alinko 2 magnet, uh, which are more mellow and more dark and all of that. But these being ceramic, they are very chimey and trebly, which along with the huge pole pieces make for a very kind of different tone. The thing is that I don't particularly like uh, single coils. I can play a guitar with single coils, but if I get to choose, I will choose humbuckers 10 out of 10 other times. Just because I always play with distortion and I fucking hate 60 cycle hum. So yeah, these pickups actually sound very different from any other single coil that I've tried, especially cheap ones with ceramic magnets. And these definitely have a unique tone, but I wouldn't say a bad one. They do sound like ceramic single coils, but they have a little bit more gain to them, despite being more low output. They're very weird, I'm not gonna lie, they are very very weird, uh, but they sound okay and clean, they sound very chimey and very trebly, I guess. But with distortion they actually sound pretty nice, the only bad thing is that they have a lot of 60 cycle hum with distortion, like a lot, more than any other single coil that I've ever tried. And at first I thought this was something with my guitar that was wrong, but no, I wired everything correctly, I even grounded everything, uh, so yeah, I don't have any idea of why that may be, maybe it has something to do with the pole pieces. But again, it's just a matter of taste of how much gain do you use, because I use a lot of gain, I use very uh, high gain type of amplifiers, American Distortion, push with overdrives and that plus single coils it's uh, it's not a good time but regardless they actually sound pretty nice so yeah with invaders it's a matter of whether you like the aesthetics or not uh, because they are definitely not for everyone i don't hate them but i don't particularly like them if i have a pickup that's an invader that sounds good i will use it but i won't go out of my way to get an invader they wouldn't be my top one picks for a single coils on a guitar, but they are definitely not the worst that I've tried. They are pretty in the middle. They are not amazing, they are not the worst. But yep, that will be pretty much everything for today's video. If you really like this video, please leave a like, and if you like my other videos, please subscribe because I will be uploading a lot of more uh, videos and pickup reviews in the following days. If you want to buy this specific set of pickups, the link will be down in the description. And if you want to support my channel directly, there also will be a link down in the description for you to register to Aliexpress through my link. You get a really big nice discount on anything you want to buy, 
if it is your first purchase and you give me a little bit of money so I can keep buying stuff like this uh, to review for the channel. And again, I want to thank my friend Kraut for sponsoring this review. He's an absolute shitlord, he's very funny, and he's a very nice guy. Uh, so yep, yeah, thanks Kraut a lot, and that will be pretty much everything. Thanks for watching this review, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!